Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today's my birthday. I ordered a package a few days ago. It came in on my birthday. From Yami Bai. I don't know what this says in Chinese. Maybe it just says Yami. I don't know. But, um... And while this is kind of a big box, I've gotten bigger boxes from them before. But that was due to, like, ordering, like, enough of a stuff that was in its own box within the box, you know? Always cut away from yourself, kids. I don't always follow that cut away rule. They used to give you ones that had the little yummy thing that you saw on the box. Of course, I assume they have to do a lot of these, so time to pop them, though. It's birthday firecrackers now. Are these recyclable? I mean, it says they are. I wonder if Walmart can recycle these because they accept flexible plastic. Maybe I'll take it by Walmart. Which, some of them have no air already. <laughs> they did their job. I guess. I hope they did. Oh, that one was loud. Mm, I didn't like that one. Too close to my eardrums. Which, some things I ordered multiple of because one, $49 equals free shipping, and... I uh, wasn't too far away anyway, so just add a few more cheap things, you know? So, let's start. We got the strawberry flavored bread, because I think last time, if they even had it, I didn't get a chance to get it, which I don't think they had it, but it's been like a year or two since I ordered. No. Okay, there's still air. I was like, um, why is there no air? If they're there, it's just not locked. I do love those type of buns, though. So, there's more. Don't worry. We got purple sweet potato flavored. I wish I could find those one, I think they were purple plum cakes. That, like, I ordered something online and they threw it in as, like, an extra gift. And I cannot find them anywhere. Not that specific brand, which I can't remember the brand anymore. So, I guess it's not important. Let's see. We got green tea. I love me some matcha. Just saying. I don't think I've ever had this one, but... Like, the green looks familiar, but I don't remember ever having it, so... If I had it, it couldn't have been bad, at least. Let's see. Another purple sweet potato flavor, because... I love sweet potato, okay? Like... It, it, it's a thing. And... Another green tea flavor, yes! I'd like to state I'm about to butcher what this is called next because um, it's totoboke or something I don't know but they kind of spicy they're chips instead of the actual thing but um, they're delicious in my opinion and they were on sale for like a dollar and something which is why there's three so I only put like one or two and then I'm like well I'm still like this way this far away from 49 let's add some more which is why I like there's two of some of those breads oh yeah the lava mochi green tea flavored Th this was somewhat of an impulse I'm not gonna lie but I like green tea I like mooch mochi well they didn't add an ass ton of sugars product of China Congratulations, China. Hey, I, I was thinking, I didn't know where these came from. Japan, China, Taiwan. Well, mochi that I see in stores, five below, mm, are from Taiwan. So, 
I was assuming Taiwan or something. Now this is, I don't think I've had this version of the snack. I think I've had the regular version. But, um, you know. Calbee's fruit and granola. I've never had it with milk or anything. I just eat it straight. See, like, I didn't check the breads and stuff, but that mochi is good until November. Which, okay, that might be normal. I don't know how long out the dates are for things, usually. This, this, June of next year. Calby does it right. Which, okay, I don't think they can make mochi last that long, really. I mean, they probably could, but I don't know about that. Black garlic oil tokonsu flavored ramen. I think I've had this before. I swear I said three packs on the page. But I am not complaining. It's good to April of next year. And it's product of China. You gotta be wary of China now. Because I've heard too many stories of fake stuff in the mooncakes. Which um leads me to our last two products. <laughs> yeah boy. I don't know if y'all can hear those, but some people are either revving their motors really loud or have like no catalytic converters anymore. It's, I can feel it reverberating in my floor. Which it could be a bunch of motorcycles, I guess. Or it could be really old cars, I guess. Hopefully they're done. And they wrapped up the mooncakes to hell and back. They're like, mm -hmm, yeah. In bubble wrap. They're like, nah, we're making sure you get these because haha. -ha. Which our mooncakes weren't selling as well, which I know mid autumn festival's over, but I wasn't thinking about it and I just saw these and I was like, you know what? There ain't much left. Because there's other flavors I saw I would have liked, but we were out. They were out. Hey, look, the box is damaged. Uh, purple mulberries mooncake. Why is, why is there a flamingo? That's why I really want to know. Why is there a flamingo? I wonder if it's wrapped inside of this or not. Which they use the ingredient sticker to close it and keep it closed. I think. I'm not 100% sure because I'm. Like, how does it open? I just want to see what it looks like. Look at the little baby mooncake. I see a dragon though. Little baby mooncakes. I have no idea how long it's good to though. Might have to eat one later. It's a shelf life of 12 months. When was it made? When was it made? Product standard code. Fruit production number, which tells me jack shit. Oh well. You can go on top of the ramen for now. Ooh, this is a pretty box though. Go over there. This way. Sorry, give me a moment. This is a kumquat mooncake. There's two of them. Two 100 grams. They cost too much. But I don't know. Oh, hey, this one says it was manufactured in July of this year and shelf life is nine months.
Warm tips, thank you for tasting our products. In order to keep fresh, the deodorizer is placed in the independent packaging. Please do not eat. Sensitive substances, warm reminder. The ingredients of this product contain wheat. Products containing gluten, egg products, soy products, peanut products, nut products, dairy products. Processing method, not processing. Cool. I do like that they tried to make it look a little bit fancy. It's, it's nice, you know. This one did cost more, but there's also two bigger mooncakes in it, so. I don't want to ruin the seal, though, but I got it. Oh, oh. No, I don't. Haha. <laughs> the entire sticker came up. I like this box. I mean, yeah, it's probably cheap AF to make. Especially since this ain't connected to it. But, yeah. It's still cute. I think this might be the right way up. But it's cute. I like I like the details in it, which I mean, okay, I know mooncake stamps exist and everything, but I think I think that's cool. Okay. I'm glad that sticker came up because since this box is not attached, that's the only way it's gonna stay together. Anyway, that's it. My birthday gift to me. Woo! Anyway, I hope y'all have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I should see if Yummy Boy has an affiliate link thing. You know, where, like, refer a friend. I know they got that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check out Yummy Boy. They have interesting stuff. They do sell out of a lot of stuff, but they usually get it back in stock sooner or later. So check it out, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.